Morning guys, hope you're all doing okay today. So it's day number four and it is Thursday, so that means I'm going to see Six and Wicked tonight. I am so excited. Um, the Six performance, uh, Six musical is at four o'clock. Uh, I think after that I might go back to the theatre cafe uh, because I've got uh, Wicked is at 7.30. So I've got a bit of time to like burn in between because uh, the places are actually I need to see how far the distance is between them because um, I went to the Vaudeville I think that's how you say theatre well I went past it the other day as I was out and about um, which is I think it's just off Leicester Square um, and then uh, I've got to go to Victoria Apollo Theatre for Wicked and I've got my 6 t-shirt on now uh, then I'm going to carry my Wicked t-shirt in my bag so I can uh, change uh, in somewhere. <laughs> um, and I've uh, done my nails. I've gone for a black with a green glitter. Um, don't know what I'm going to do this morning though. I was thinking of going to the Amazon, the, the Amazon shop, which is uh shepherd bush i think it is and it's like two stops off from the station that's next door so um i don't know what i'm gonna do after that shall i do that uh maybe i don't know uh so they are my rough plans for today and i shall get back to you once i've decided what i'm doing this morning so i'm just gonna walk along the river you got Westminster there and I've just found this Covid memorial wall and I just think it's I don't know it's just touching National Covid memorial wall and it goes on for like ages it's so lovely it's just red hearts and you write your loved ones names on just goes on and on. It's opposite uh, Westminster. I'm presuming that's is that Westminster or is that um what's that other place? Oh, I don't know. I'm terrible with place names. Please forgive me if I'm. <laughs> Literally, all I can see is right from the bottom is just a wall of pink hearts, and it's so lovely to see. I just didn't know this existed. And there's still so many empty hearts. So if you're in the London area and you've lost a loved one, then there's plenty to use up. Houses of Parliament. I'm pretty sure this may be Houses of Parliament or is Houses of Parliament that side? I don't know. I'm rubbish with names. How, no, sit, I, I'm sure that could be the Houses of Parliament. Right, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna shut up before I make myself sound even more stupid. So I've walked all the way down to Telbridge. Uh, you've got the Tower of London there. That is the walkie talkie building and at the top as well as went to see the Sky Gaza. You got HMS Belfast just there. And a couple of seagulls loving life down there. And I went pooped because I've walked a long way. So plan is to walk across Tower Bridge. No, you got Tower Bridge? Yeah, Tower Bridge. Uh, there's too many bridges, I'm getting confused. Uh, I'm going to walk across there, see what's around there to walk, uh, and see if we can find somewhere to eat. Even though I'm not hungry yet, but I've got a few hours before Six Musical. I'm so excited, don't know if I've mentioned. Um, but I feel like I'm going to eat before that. Oh, I don't know. There's just too many decisions to make, and I'm so tired, and there's a fly. Uh, but yeah, let's walk across there. So I was just down there, and now I am up here. I 
might get an Uber boat in a bit. I think he can have to go up there as well, so if he's not too expensive, I might do that. Oh, that's a long way up. This bridge is a drawbridge, so it can open up in half if you didn't know that. I'm sure everyone did by now. But you know me, I like to give out pointless information that everyone knows. And this is me finishing crossing the bridge. I didn't go up. I, uh, I feel like I'm too exhausted to walk up all the stairs. So I'm just going to take a walk around. Um, what's this place called again? My mind's going to part. Tower of London. Yeah, Tower of London. And have a little rest. So I'm here. I don't know if you can see me because the sun is in the eyes, but I'm just waiting for my designated time to go in and then I'll be going in. The sun is really really that way, so I can't wait. Um, due to COVID and everything, everyone's got given, been given like designated times, so mine's at quarter past three. So I only have I think it's like a half hour to wait, so they're excited. So this is the cast list for today, there's only one alternative on and the rest of the uh, western cast, so I cannot wait. Woohoo! So this is a theatre. It's more intimate than I expected. I'm like the third one in here and I'm actually front row. I didn't realise I was actually front row because I thought I was like the second one in. So I just sat down and literally front row, I cannot believe it, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm about 45 to an hour to waste but I always don't care because over here I'll get to see him soon and I'm so excited. <laughs> so I've just been to the merch stand. I've got the Sewing That Sorry badge. I want to get all six of them, so this is the second one I've got. I've bought the CD. So it's got the original cast on there singing that. And I've got the new program for the new theatre, because it's just recently moved, so I'm going to have a flick through that. I'll oh, just look at them. It's like next month, so they're actually splitting up, so it's going to be a different uh, talk, a different. West End cast and I'm so sad but I am so grateful that I'm able to come to see them before they actually split up so and they are going on for better things because I, some of them have formed a group called Seven and the songs are amazing so check them out Filming and audio recording are strictly prohibited until the Queens tell you to get your phones out Thanks! The show will begin in just under six
So I'm back at the theatre cast now. I'm sitting at the uh, Phantom of the Opera table, and I just love it in this place. It's such a good vibe. I've gone for hot chocolate, which is the uh, uh, Charlie and the hot chocolate, and I've gone for a salted caramel slice of chocolate cake. But yes, it's great at the theatre in this place. They constantly play theatre music, which is amazing. I just love this. I'm just so glad this place is here. It's just magical. So I'm out of six, and oh my god, I'm flustered already. Uh, six was amazing. Uh, I'm so gutted that uh, the original West End cast are splitting up next week, uh, next month, and it's a whole new cast. But I will be ex excited to come back to see the new cast. I've just had a pickle trying to find. So I'm out of breath. I've literally been running everywhere. Uh, the Apollo, uh, the Apollo Theatre is just there for Wicked. Um, I thought I was at the wrong place. I literally ran across London, jumped on three different tubes, and then I looked at my phone and it says I was in the wrong place, and I was actually a half hour away. So I, I, I doubled back, and I was actually in the right place. I found it now. Time to spare. And now I'm going to die in the corner before the show, so I shall get back to you whenever the next clip is. So, as you can see, all is up green. I can't wait to go in. I'm literally beyond excited. You do not know how long I've been waiting to see this show in West End. Um, I can remember coming about 10, 12 years ago when I came to London for the day. I literally circled this building, just staring at it, staring at Wicked in lights. And I was like, one day, one day it's going to happen. And that one day is now. I know I'm being so sappy over it, but it's a dream. Oh my god guys, I am back. It has been a long day and it has been magical. Today has been so fantastic. I am so happy that I was able to see the shows that I have. Did it did went to see him? You know what I mean. That was amazing. I am so happy. I am one happy boy. Um I'm just gonna tell you about my evening because you've probably already seen it. I ain't got a clue what uh, what clips I filmed last. Uh, but I'm gonna start with six. Six was incredible. Oh my god. I am so glad that I was able to see them before they change cast next month. I am sad, kind of sad that they are leaving, but obviously they've got their own lives to fulfil. They've got bigger journeys to go on. Some of them are going into uh, a new girl band, which I support them 100%. I hope that they like, have great success. It's called Seven, uh, S -F, uh, S -V -N, Seven, yeah, S V N. And their first song that they released was, is called Queen or Queens. And it is just so incredibly powerful. It is amazing. Check them out. Um, but oh my god, six. Sitting on front row. I was front row. You already knew that. But I did not know. I was actually front, front, front row. I, when I booked the tickets, it looked like there was a barrier row in front of me. There wasn't. I could touch the stage. Oh, my God. As I was performing, their sweat came down on me. And I ain't even mad. Oh, my God. That was just like... The way they interact with people as well. They just, uh, Like um, Natalie, who plays Jane Seymour... One of like the opening songs, she was just like looking at me and she gave me a cheeky wink. So hello Natalie, you're not watching this, but thank you. You made me feel special. <laughs> but oh my god, it, it, it was just amazing. I can't 
like I am a huge fan girl when it comes to six, so incredible. Um, Sophie, who was Catherine Howard, she actually see my Insta story. I posted that I was there, and she actually reposted this, which meant the world to me. Um, that they actually take the time to interact with viewers, uh, fans, um, like that. It's just incredible. The girls in it are just like so. Wow, I've been waiting to see them for, like the West End original cast for like a year now, and they've came a long way since uh, they performed at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. I think it was two thousand and seventeen. So, if you do get a chance to go and see Six, then go and see Six, whether it's the tour or West End, they are all incredible. Um, and I am going to be looking forward to seeing the new cast. Even though I am sad, I am looking forward to see if they are good enough to fill their boots. I'm sure they are, but uh, if you are a Six fan, you have your favourites. So, yeah, I'll show you what I bought from Six. I bought the album. This is the uh, studio cast recording. So, uh, the does it say who's singing who? Um... Amy, oh, Amy Atkins, she was uh, the original Howard, I miss her. She left to do other things. Uh, but Natalie Paris is still on this, who's uh, Jane Seymour, uh, singing uh, Heart of Stone. And when she was singing that, wow, literally tears was in my eyes. But that was due to the spotlight actually shining into my eyes. Uh, I was sitting in front of this light spotlight and I was just looking up, I could hear her. It was amazing, but sorry, hon, I just could not see her. Um, but, um, yeah, wow. Um, yeah, so I've got that. Uh, I've got a six pin. This is Sorry Not Sorry, which is one of, wait, it's, um, Jay, no, it's not uh, Anne Boleyn's song that she sings. Um, each queen have has uh, a different pin. So I've got Queen of the Castle, which the uh, hot air conditioner one. Two seconds. I like it to be cool. Uh, I've got uh, Queen of the Castle, uh, and now I've got Anne Boleyn. So um, it's a challenge to myself to collect one of each uh, every time I go. Um, and I've got the program for the new uh, Voldemort Theatre. So, oh, just look at them. They're amazing. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Uh, and then I went to the Theatre Caf. Uh, you would have seen a bit of footage there. Didn't film much. Um, because I realised I was nowhere near the Apollo Theatre when I had to get there for Wicked. So I literally ran across London, uh, jumped on two different underground tubes, got to Victoria, looked at Google, and it says I was half hour away. So there's me panicking. I ran back to the station, found somebody who worked there. I was like, look, I'm nowhere near it. And he's like, no, you are. And he, my phone just hadn't. Uh, refreshed so I was actually there I was just too blind to actually look <laughs> um, so I was still there with plenty of time but I always like to get there early um, <coughs> uh, and then from Wicked oh, it was Wicked uh, I bought the program I like to buy the program for every show that I go to and I bought a Wicked badge uh, and I just want to, I don't know if you all will, will be watching it, but during the six, I actually made two uh, friends, I got chatting to uh, Jess and Ellie, so a huge hello to Jess and Ellie. You was wearing amazing t-shirts, I got chatting to them, uh, they gave me the person who made the t-shirts, and I am seriously considering buying some uh, for the next time I come to see six, and that w will happen. Um... So, thank you for talking to me and making me feel like I wasn't alone. Uh, but Jess, LA, hello, thank you. You probably ain't seen this, uh, but I hope our paths do cross again. Uh, and that was... Oh, it was amazing. Wicked. 
to see it at West End, it was amazing because like their stage is permanently set out like that. When they're on tour, obviously they uh, eliminate some stuff because obviously getting up, getting it down constantly, it was great. Um, but yes, wow. I'm going to sign it off here. I ain't got a clue how long this video is going to be. Uh, sorry for boring you if I've bored you. And you're welcome if you've enjoyed it. So, I'm going to go to bed now because I'm extremely tired. I went to Tesco to get um, some snacks. So I got a Tesco meal deal. Uh, I actually got on the wrong underground uh, tube. I met myself came to West Brompton, but I went ended up going to West Kensington. So, two completely different places. Yeah. And then I got off the station, started walking to the hotel, and then I realised I was walking the opposite direction. So that was a big fail. <laughs> uh, but I've made it, <clears throat> made it back eventually. So yes, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching this. This was my final full day here. Uh, hope you're enjoying these videos, and I shall see you all soon. So it's goodbye from me, Matt. Goodbye from my own soul, and stay sassy.